Among the businesses still not allowed to reopen yet in New York State are bowling alleys. And today, a plea to the governor from some of the hundreds of owners. They say they can reopen safely. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. When it comes to social distancing, bowling alleys have room to spare, so they're asking for their turn to reopen. Safety of our staff, of our guests, are, is our first concern. And uh, we're blessed with a lot of space here, so we could do this right. Plucked out of phase four, owners of New York's 300 bowling centers employing 9,000 workers say they're ready to roll. A bipartisan group of legislators pleads with the governor for guidance. This is phase four. Tell us what we need to do. We need to hear something. We need to know what it is that it's going to take to get our centers going. A pair of lanes is 11 and a half feet wide. With every other lane closed, owners say social distancing is achieved. Temperature checked at the door, food served from behind plexiglass, shoes and balls sanitized. We actually don't have the customers touch their bowling balls when they leave. Our staff comes in, they're gloved, they'll take everything away. So we can do this where we reduce the amount of touch points the customers have and they can still have a fun experience on the lanes. Our bowlers are making appointments to take their equipment out of their lockers and they're trekking to New Jersey and Connecticut. That's right. While bowling alleys are closed here in New York, they are open in New Jersey and Connecticut and in more than half the states around the country. Owner Chris Keller understands what's at stake. Back in April, I lost my dad, Clint, to the virus and I almost lost my mom as well. Please don't let this take our business also. Among those aching to come back, league bowlers and students like nationally ranked Rachel Hines, who had hoped for a college scholarship. It is my future, honestly. No comment yet from the governor on the future of bowling. Of all industries, bowlers argue they know how to play by the rules. In Coral, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.